Hey, hey, you two, what's up? Welcome back to Arabin Outdoors. I'm Arabin, but you knew that, didn't you? Hey, bullocks on this weather. You know, I woke up this morning and I'm like, I'm gonna do something. I'm either gonna go hit some golf balls or I'm gonna go kayaking. And uh, got up and going and the weather said, ha, ah, you're not doing anything outside today. So I stayed indoors. Then. The sun pops out, as you can see. Now, 15 minutes ago, it was pouring down rain. Now, the sun's up. So I said, hey, I'm gonna go hit some golf balls. Grabbed my bag, went to go put it in the truck, stepped out onto the porch. It started raining again. I figured, well, what am I gonna do? I guess I could make a video just to let YouTube know that I'm still around. I have been doing a lot of stuff outdoors lately. I picked up a new hobby. It's not a new hobby, it's something that I've done since I was young, and that is uh, playing golf. But I never took it seriously, you know? My father enjoyed playing, so as a young guy, I enjoyed playing with my father, spending time with him at Fort Jackson on the golf course. But then I put the clubs away for a long while and didn't play at all. But I've recently gotten back in contact with an old friend of mine that uh, we've known each other since sixth grade, a long time ago. And uh, he likes to play golf. My son-in-law likes to play golf. My son will go play golf. So uh, now I have people that like to play golf in my life. I figured, hey, let's pick it back up. So I went out and bought some clubs. I'll show those to you now. All right, so here's the new set of golf clubs. Uh, they are Top Flight XL. They came with a bag. I chose the Urban Camo because I thought it was cool looking. And uh, it came with uh, a driver, a three iron, a five hybrid, a four hybrid, six, seven, eight, nine, pitching wedge, got this cover on the pitching wedge, and it came with a putter. I really like this putter, let me get it out. Uh, this putter has, even though putting is my weak point, this putter is really an improvement over my previous putter, which was more like the type of putter you would see at a putt-putt golf course. But the bag here, it has a little pocket for miscellaneous things, keys, you know, and uh, I keep some bug repellent, some uh, SP50 sunblock. This is the shoe compartment where I keep my shoes. Up here I keep my glove. Also attached, uh, I have this little carabiner right here. And when I go onto the course, I attach my everyday carry kit that's in my Maxpedition pouch. You can check out the uh, video for it I'll put a tag right up here and uh, then I keep a little little bottle of hand sanitizer strapped on there it's got a little tea holder here this is the uh, golf ball you see in there I've got all my different golf balls uh, of course I keep a towel on there a little brush for again keeping the club heads clean another compartment over here for different stuff I keep in there a first aid kit I've got a rain jacket and uh, just some extra teas stuff like that you can put whatever you want to in there it's a good size pocket so it's a it's a pretty nice bag for a starter set uh, the only club that didn't come with it is my sand wedge and uh, 
I bought all of these covers separately at discount, you know, discount places. I paid two dollars for this sand wedge cover, two dollars for this Callaway pitching wedge cover. I got these uh, hybrid covers which have these little you can change the numbers on here so you see this is my four hybrid so I've got it set to four this one is my five hybrid and those head covers I got on Amazon it did come with the top light it did come with the uh, heads for the driver and the three wood I'll show you what they look like now it's a nice driver I like that the driver is black and even on the shaft it has the camo pattern on it but I'll tell you what I've done a lot better driving with this driver than that old 35 year old driver that I had in my father's bag but yeah, like I say, let's go back to this uh, sand wedge. It came with a pitching wedge, but it didn't come with a sand wedge. And I felt I needed a sand wedge, so I bought this one. And it's not a big name brand that I'm aware of anyway. It's a, uh, what's that, VCG sand wedge. And uh, I bought this at, whoops running around I bought this sand wedge at the uh, Goodwill for 92 cents now of course it's not new it doesn't look new but it works as a sand wedge which is what it's supposed to do yeah so nice bag good clubs for me as a beginner all right here we go couldn't see it but that ball just went to right at the 350 yard marker just kidding I can only dream of driving a ball 350 yards but yeah I got these clubs at a good price and they're great for the amount that I play I try to go out every week and play uh, at least nine holes if I don't do that I like to go to the range and at least hit a bucket of balls it's good exercise for me. I enjoy it. And uh, these clubs aren't the best clubs in the world. They're new. They are more up to date than the 35 year old set of clubs that I had before, uh, which were my father's. I'm playing better now than I ever did. It's something I look forward to doing more often. But I figured right now, since there's a lull, but there are dark clouds above, so I'm sure the rain's not done. Um, the radar shows another band coming in towards our area uh, later this afternoon. So, And where I live out in the country, we're 45 minutes from everywhere. So I don't want to load up a kayak or set of clubs, drive 45 minutes just to find myself in a, a rainstorm. So, But while the sun is out for this brief, uh, brief moment, I decided, hey, I could shoot some arrows. I need to get back on that and improve my archery skills. So let's go shoot a, a few arrows, shall we? See if I can still hit the target. All right, so let's see if we can still hit the target from 10 yards. I hate to say it, it's been a long time since I've shot the bow. Since my last video that I made, you can go check it out. I'll try to remember to put a card right here. And I'm shooting my 54-inch uh, longbow, and uh, I really enjoy it. It was a Christmas gift given to me by my wife. And right now, 
for some reason, I'm shooting way off to the left. So let me try to adjust that. There we go. That one was in line, but low. So let's try to adjust that. There you go. That one was up high, but a little left. It's just about consistency. There you go. That one was like dead center about. And that's what I want to accomplish, both with golf and with archery. And everything, really. It's just consistency. I don't have to be great. I just want to be consistent. I'll work on great. But when I play golf, right now I'm not concerned about distance on my drive. I'm worried about staying on the fairway. And the short game, because a bad short game in golf will destroy you. That's what I need to work on. And with archery, I'm just focused on hitting the target. Once I can consistently do that, then I'll fine tune it and try to get in that dead bull's eye center. But I gotta get my technique right, which I think is pretty good. <sighs> I haven't missed the target yet on this round. Got a few shots off to the left there, you'll see. <sighs> but I'm hitting the target. If this were a life-sized person or animal, they'd be getting hurt right now. So yeah, I'm, I'm way off on the left. Let's go take a look at it and I'll let you see how I did. Alright, so this is where we were shooting from. And there's the target. Let's go take a look at it. And as you can see, I'm pulling a little bit to the left. Was that seven in the black and three outside of the black? Pretty good for somebody who doesn't practice every day. So just the gear that I've been that I use today. This is my. Uh, it's called a Ceno Art Longbow. It is a 54 inch with a 35 pound draw. I've got some little beaver balls on there to silence the string. It does great at that. It's a very lightweight bow. Very short, perfect for me. And uh, I'm shooting these flex, flex at first for safety. You can see this is a 500 spine and uh, Got the four inch feathers and uh, just with a traditional archery tip on there for a target shooting. And then I've got my quiver that I made. And uh, I covered it, it was just black vinyl. I covered it with this leather myself. It's funny we're talking about archery and golf because inside I have two golf tubes from my old golf bag that I shortened to put in there to hold the arrows. So uh, I think it's a cool natural looking quiver. Matches the bow well and the arrows. But anyway, just wanted to check in with you guys, let you know that hey, Arabin is still alive. He's still outdoors. Hope you guys had a safe and happy 4th of July. Hope you guys are having a great summer. I'll try to get some golf videos out soon. Appreciate you guys tuning in. If you haven't already subscribed to Arabin Outdoors, we'd love to have you. What are you waiting for? No, seriously though, uh, I'd really appreciate it if you could subscribe to my channel. Check out my little visitor here. The pretty little butterfly. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up, and uh, I look forward to making some golf videos. Got some kayaking trips planned. A lot of things in store. We just got to wait for this weather to cooperate. You can hear the thunder now, I'm sure. Anyways, till next time, keep calm.
carry on, keep it outdoors.